Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well yesterday we built this little section and demonstrated the flex system and added some columns to a row and just demonstrated how you can space them etc. So today let's go in and actually put something in there that's not just demo and uh, use a bit of typography today. We'll do some headings and some text. So let's open the brackets text editor. Brackets text editor is a free text editor. You can download it from a link below this site. Like I say, it's free. It's got some great features. But if you've already got a text editor, you can follow along just fine with it. OK, so here's our sections we built yesterday. What I'm going to do is get rid of all the style here for a start. So we're left with a, a white canvas. Or let's just start from scratch. Let's get rid of this whole section. Okay, we're going to build a new section. Inside that section, we're going to put a div with a new container in it, or a new div with, with a container. So it's contained like we did yesterday. Div with a class of container. And inside there, we're going to put a div that we're actually going to put our text in. So let's have a div. And we'll give this class let's say column, column medium 10. Close out that div. And let's give our let's justify our content so it's center. So let's add the class of justify content center dash content dash center. Which if you remember from yesterday, bootstraps viewable areas made out of 12 equal sections so a column of medium 10 is only going to take up 10 twelfths but we want it to be in the middle so we're going to use this flex class of justify content center so it'll give it an auto margin each side and be in the middle okay and inside here let's put some titles let's make um, an h2 heading 2 And let's say welcome. And then we'll have a paragraph of text underneath, or maybe a couple of paragraphs. I guess one paragraph will do. So we'll open some paragraph tags. And in between that, I'm just going to put some dummy text. I'm going to go to lipsum.com and just get some dummy text right here. And yeah, let's put a nice size paragraph in there. Just going to copy that back to my brackets. And in between the two P tags, I'm just going to paste that. Now, this isn't going to look particularly interesting. But let's save and take a look. Control S to save. Back to the website. Now when I refresh all this red, yellow and black stuff should disappear. We should just have a white section with a bit of text in it. Okay, so that's kind of done what we want. Let's make this text center. And we need to put deflex to make this flex work. And what we'll do is we'll all our content here. I want this center align, so I'm going to add the class of text dash center. Let's save and go back and see what we've got now. Now 
there we go and as you can see everything's in the middle there it's justified our 10 column to the center there fantastic and we've done that text center and it's made all our text central all right well let's do a bit of css and get this how we want it so the first thing i want is i really want some space top and bottom so this has got some breathing room a bit of padding so i'm going to create a class of say gap 100 or you can call it what you want that's just gives padding top and padding bottom of 100 pixels so let's do that let's go to our brackets this time we're going to go to our custom css file that we've been working on now i'm going to start at the top here i'm going to put a new title in i'm going to call it spacing because we may want to decide to do different spacing for different things so we're going to make a title or comment forward slash star star forward slash anything in between the stars will not be written will not be read as code by the browser and let's put in our value here so I want to make a class I'm going to call class of gap 100 and we're going to tell that anything with that class has padding on the top in fact we can do it we can do it with one entry just by doing padding and then we'll do colon first entry is top and bottom 100 pixels if you leave it like that it'll have 100 pixels top bottom right and left but if we give it a second entry of we'll just say zero that first entry will be top and bottom so it'll have a gap of a hundred pixels top and bottom and zero pixels left and right we may change that at another date but for the time being that's fine and we'll put a semicolon after that save that control s now let's go to our index html and just add that class to our little section there or our actual div that we've got here we could add it to the section but i'm going to actually add it to this div and the class name was gap gap 100 so now that should apply those styles to this control s to save let's go back to the site refresh and we should have a 100 picks gap top and bottom now there we go as you can see we've got 100 at the top and 100 at the bottom i think that might even be a little too much let's just right click and inspect with my chrome inspector here i'm using google chrome as you right click or hit f12 it'll bring up the inspector tools here there's our gap 100 so let's have a look see let's just take that down so we can see what we're doing let's take that down to I'm just double left clicking on it to get in there take it down to say 70 yeah I think that's a bit better actually I think 100 might have been a bit too much so I'll, ju I'll just change that CSS so let's go back into our CSS I'm just simply going to change that to 70 control s back to the site and when I refresh it shouldn't change it should remain at 70 there we go all right so we've got our little section we've got our padding we've got the writing where we want it now let's actually style our typography now this was a heading 2 so let's go to our what do we actually want to do with it well I'd like to make it a little bit bigger I'd like to perhaps have it this blue color or that blue color when I don't hover over it and I think I might like to have a bit more space between it and the row below or the paragraph text below so let's go ahead and do that so let's go to our brackets again 
And if we look, we know that was a heading two that we put in there. Let's just make sure I've got, I think in my slider, what did we have there? Did we have, no, we had heading five, so this won't affect those. Okay. So let's do that. H2, go to our custom CSS. I'm going to add a new title yet again, typography, forward slash, star star forward slash. And anything to do with the text I'm going to put up here. So we're just going to affect our H2 at the moment. So let's put in H2. Open and close some curly brackets. Let's actually go to our site and do it live and get it how we want it. So let's again, I'm going to inspect this. Inspect. On the H2, let's roll it up so we can see it. Okay, font size. Let's, let's take it up a little bit. It's in rems at the moment. I'm going to change it to a pixel value, say 40 pixels. There we go. That's nice. Big stands out. And I'm just going to add color. And I can't remember what that is. I'll, f go, I'll figure it out when I go into my. Well, actually, we could probably find it up here. Let's have a look. Let's see what the color is on our buttons up here. So it's going to be the middle one, wasn't it? Let's have a look at our CSS. Down to our buttons. There's our buttons. That's the red one, purple one. There's our blue color. So I'm going to copy my blue color from there. Control C. Let's go back to our thing. And let's put this in color. Because I hadn't put the entry in, it disappeared. And just paste that hexadecimal value there. There we are. We got that blue dark blue background now we can transform it to uppercase or lowercase every time we use an h2 if we want to we can use the text transform and we'll say uppercase and we've made that all caps that's great what else we want to do well I want to just I want to sort of have a bit more space between it and the paragraph. So I'm going to put a margin on the bottom. We'll try 30 pixels. Margin bottom. Okay, on 30 pixels. Yeah, I think that's okay. We could have it the same as the top. Let's just try it. What you can do is you can select your entry there the 30 and just roll up or down with your mouse wheel to increase it or decrease it what does that look like that's not bad I quite like that we'll leave it at 50 that's fine okay there's not much more I really want to do to that I mean we can make it bold but I don't really want to we could underline it or whatever you want to do, but that'll do fine for my H2s that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to, let's pull this up a little bit bigger. I'm literally just going to copy all this stuff that we've got here. I may have to add the important class to that to overwrite what's going on there, but I'm just going to copy that. I just left clicked and dragged to select it. Control C to copy. Let's go back to our CSS and where we were, which was at the top, our typography. I'm going to paste what we just copied from the 
chrome inspector in there so there we have it we've got it font size 40 color blue we want it to transform uppercase and we want margin on the bottom of 50 picks so this is going to happen every time we use that h2 so let's just save that control s and refresh get rid of our inspector and see what happens yeah that worked absolutely fine our CSS is working I don't have to use the important obviously and it stayed exactly how I wanted it to stay so there we have it there's just a bit of how to add and style some typography obviously you can do it with your text fives so you can do it with the paragraphs you can do it with with heading one two three four five whatever you want to do six in the next video what we'll do we'll show you how to use Google fonts to change the font types and font styles and that gives you pretty much unlimited types of fonts so I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it if you have please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.